She said that Bill Clinton could be in charge of the economy. My husband, who I'm going to put in charge of the revitalizing the economy, because you know he knows how to do it, and especially in places like coal country and inner cities and other parts of our country that have really been left out. She's hinting that it could happen. Bill Clinton is on the stump for her. Joel, this seems very dangerous because bringing Bill into the election makes him fair game for every critic, especially Donald Trump, who's going to bring up Bill Clinton's liabilities, especially his treatment of women. Doesn't that risk neutralizing Hillary's gender card? It does. And, you know, there's a lot of Clinton nostalgia in this country because the 1990s seemed to be a time of economic expansion and increasing opportunity, technology coming into the workplace, the Internet. So people do have a very good memory of that. Of course, uh, a lot of that had to do with the Republican Congress as well, restraining some of Clinton's more dubious policies, including Hillary Care. Um, but it also shows that Hillary Clinton has no economic record of her own. I mean, she doesn't really have any business achievements outside of extorting money from donors for the Clinton Foundation. So she basically has nothing to compare with Donald Trump's economic record. And she's bringing Bill in to appeal to voters who remember that full employment and balanced budgets were what characterized the Clinton administration. Uh, look, it's, it's a good sell. Um, but at the same time, if you're saying my husband will do the job, then you're, you're kind of saying that uh, this woman card I have is, is, is really not that effective. I mean, it's, it, it's not that important to elect the first female president if all she's going to do is bring back her male partner uh, to run things. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.